Hi, this is Marcia, and I'm so excited to be sharing out a new AI tool that I just started exploring. It's called magicschool.ai. Wow, are you ready for this one? Hi everybody, thank you for joining. I'm super excited to be sharing out about the magicschool.ai tool and resource for teachers. What I like about this application, it is a great resource for busy teachers, teachers that want to use data to drive their instruction, for teachers who want to have some more of a creative element in their classroom or inside of their studios, and it makes it very easy to create and deploy. So let's get started. So what do you see here on the screen is called magicschool.ai and I went ahead and signed in. You can see I'm already signed in. I'm looking at it and it's giving me all these opportunities from planning to content to questions, instructional prep, communities, so on and so forth. Right now I'm in all tools. So what you can see is just the different tools that a this AI program is going to help us with. So I have a choice board. I have some lab generators. I have some rubric generators. Oh my gosh, unit planning, math problems. You guys, there's so many great things. I'm just already thinking about this as an instructional coach and how I'm going to be able to use this to help my teachers just get started with deploying some of these differentiated tools. And it just has like newsletters even. I mean, come on, text translator tools. I mean, these are just, do you see that I'm just still scrolling? vocabulary list. There's a lot of great things in here that you can use. But one of the things I want to showcase is how to create a choice board because I had a team just recently asked me to help them create a choice board for their social studies content. So I'm going to go in here to choice board. And again, I'm not fast forwarding this video. I'm showing you how this looks and what this looks like. So it's asking me to what grade level I am going to be using. This is going to be fifth grade. And then it's asking me to come up with their standards. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go right into my state standards. And I'm going to do it on latitude and longitude. That is one of the things that we need to be working on. And they needed a choice board to go along with it. So now I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to paste it in. Is there any additional things that I want to put in? So maybe is it only online or is it a mixture of online versus paper activities? So on and forth. I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. So now I'm generating and what it's doing, it is giving me ideas that I can use to put into a choice board. <laughs> you guys, it's giving me the ideas to put into a choice board. So now I can go and open one of my choice board templates and I can drop in the ones that I want. Maybe I want them to create a detailed map of latitude and longitude. That's an option. Uh, maybe the weather, pat weather patterns is too hard, but maybe I can do a travel journal where the students are going to go in and they're going to pretend they're traveling and they're looking at latitude, longitude, so on and so forth. Fun time zone activity. Uh, maybe they're going to be doing a quiz. What I like to use is this is my starting point, my jump off point. Now I'm going to put my twist and my inspiration that I get from all my years of teaching that I'm going to put right into a choice board that I can give to my students when they are doing these different studio activities. Magic School isn't just for choice boards. As you remember, if you go back and look at all those tools and looking at all those resources, it's everything from I just want to be able to start my planning process. I want to do a multi-step assignment. I want to do project-based learning. A lesson plan generator. Give magicschool.ai a try because it's just going to give you somewhere to start and then you can enhance it with your own magic.